All right, welcome to another episode of uh, the Facebook Live. So, hi everybody, welcome back to the show. My name again is David Angwe. I'm a registered financial planner and also a public speaker. So, I'm very excited to tackle with you uh, some of the life insurance uh, life insurance tips that uh, I keep on sharing directly to uh, many workplaces. So guys, uh, thank you so much again for tuning in. So let me go ahead and discuss to you guys first, who am I? Uh, for those people who are not familiar with me. Okay, so who's David Angway? I'm a public speaker. I also uh, conduct seminars uh, in the workplace. And I uh, ko na nga yung mismo ating... Uh, uh, what do you call this one? My events, live events natin. But I just want to give back directly to my community here in Facebook, okay? Like what I'm doing in my LinkedIn Live every single day. So let's go directly here. I'm a podcaster, uh, award-winning financial advisor, been featured in the Bloomberg, ANC on the Money, and at the same time in BBC. So let's not talk about me okay so i just want to share with you guys a couple of things about life insurance policies okay so if you are an employee i'm so excited to talk to you about this one because number one okay if you are uh, currently employed right now okay thank you for that one because unang -una sa lahat, not all people are currently employed so ngayon, okay so uh, this is also applicable for uh, employees Okay, uh, within the Metro Manila or all over the Philippines. Okay, now you need to review your insurance policy right now. So what the, what do I mean by that? You need to understand first kung ano yung meron ka right now. Okay, you need to ask yourself if I'm an employee right now, I'm a breadwinner of the family. Okay, bakit wala akong insurance policy? So that's that's the first question that I might need to go ahead and ask you as well. If ever I meet you, okay, bakit wala? Okay, if you think that you are absolutely, okay, precious uh, to your family, okay, might as well consider having that one. Number two, okay, when you review your insurance policies, you need to understand first na hindi ibig sabihin na meron kang life insurance right now, it's already enough. Baka, kinuha mo na to last four years, five years ago, obviously, mas mayaman ka na ngayon compared to last five years or ten years ago. Uh, I, I just want to give to you a little bit of background about it because I made a little bit of policy uh, review to a couple of my uh, a couple of my potential clients and grabe, um, they're earning multi-millions na and then they're just they just have at least 250,000 yung kanilang life insurance. They thought, na okay, they thought na having one life insurance is enough. So I know uh, a couple of per, uh, people na merong 14 and 20 life insurance policies from different okay, companies. And I'm not suggesting you need to also do that, but having one life insurance might not be enough for you. Now, okay, review your uh, life insurance policy as well within your workplace. Kasi may mga ibang mga um, may mga ibang uh, workplace that they are providing life insurance, okay, to their uh, particular uh, employees. Uh, back then, when I was working in BGC, uh, a certain company give me, let's say for example, my monthly salary multiply mo ng 24 months. Okay, so that's gonna be two years. That's gonna be the amount. If you're just earning 25,000, okay, right now, if I'm, I'm talking to you right now, uh, who's an employee full-time uh, in a corporate world, okay, probably take a quick look on this one. Okay, binibigay to na employer mo. Okay, so... 25,000 multiplied by 24, that's going to be 600,000 alone. Now, my next question is, as an employee, do you think you're just 600,000? That's my next question. Do you think 600,000 ka lang sa family mo? If you are, if you're also, okay, spending 25,000 in a month, 
Okay, that 600,000 will only last for about 24 months. They cannot go ahead and recover. If you do have a family right now, if you do have what? If you do have a kid right now, do you think pag college yung anak mo? Okay, with your current coverage. So that's, that's something that I need to share with you because many people are ignoring these things. They know, okay, about it, but I'm your conscience right now. Okay, next, allocate an amount. When, when I say allocate an amount, when you do have a regular salary, whenever I talk to an employee, they kept on telling me that, you know what, Dave, I'm having trouble managing my finances because my expenses are always getting higher. Well, number one, okay, this is the common problem that I've seen in the corporate world. Whenever your, ex, uh, whenever your salary is getting high, okay, or you got promoted, obviously, merong, merong percentage na tumaas yan, yung mismong, ano mo, mismong salary mo. The problem here is you are also increasing your lifestyle. That's gonna be the biggest problem. The, your behavior towards your, towards your finances is the major culprit, kumbaga. Okay, ang savings account mo, honestly, ang pinaka-major risk sa savings account mo is not the inflation at the end of the day. It's absolutely you. <laughs> okay, so I just want to share with you guys about that one. Because other other um, people are, are stating na, na yung mismong savings account, the, the one that gonna, that's gonna kill your savings account is the inflation. But no, honestly, it's absolutely you. Okay, ikaw ang mismong major culprit kung bakit wala kang savings account. Because your behavior, okay, is the one crippling your savings, your finances at the end of the day. Now, let's get back a little bit on the allocate an amount. How much do I need to allocate? Okay, every time I gotta pay, uh, every time uh, it's payday. Well, number one, you need to understand first your, okay, your current uh, financial health. Okay. Well, and then when you assess that, then you can go ahead and create a buffer for it. So, merong, merong certain uh, percentage, okay, na binibigay yung mga ating financial advisor uh, regarding sa mismong planning, financial planning. Yung iba, uh, 10% for the tights, 10% for the savings, um, 30% for the investments and then 50% for the expenses. If that's going to work for you, definitely maganda yan. Pero if it's not going to work for you, then you need to also learn how to modify what is applicable for you. But you need to make sure na meron kang goal at the end. Okay? Because without a goal and then you're just implementing a strategy, it's going to be a weak process. Okay? Kumbaga. So, if you would like to learn more about it, then I can simply give you a uh, quick okay, uh, run-through of your finances and then we'll see exactly how much allocation you need every single payday to sustain that life insurance policies that you will be uh, having. Okay, next, how much coverage do I need? Okay, this is the most common uh, questions that I usually ask. Uh, uh, I, I usually uh, get pala. Sorry. Okay. Magkano ba yung pinakamura dyan? Well, as a financial planner, I always answer, it really depends upon your lifestyle, upon your what? Upon your your age, your your gender, okay, is also, and your occupation, your medical health. Okay, right now, what you need to focus on is to double check first, okay, yung mismong coverage mo, okay? Kasi may, may mga kakilala tayong mga empleyado, kung ano yung kinuha ng kaibigan niya, ganun din ang gustong kunin ng kay, uh, ganun din, gumagaya din siya sa kaibigan niya. May kilala ba kayong ganun? Okay. Uh, I'm just I'm just sharing you exactly my experiences regarding dun sa ating mga um, ating mga potential clients. So, uh, this is I think what you need to ask. Pero, how should we answer that? Okay? As a person and to free up from biases, you need to look 
for this one. So this is what I'm using to uh, do a little bit of financial needs analysis. Uh, in less than two minutes, we'll be able to figure out how much will be your uh, insurance needs. Why? Because no, normally, normally, ah, ganito, guys, if a financial advisor, okay, is like a doctor, in the as and you are the mismo patient, na umuubo ka, okay? The reason why we need to assess is to provide enough, okay, or suitable suitable investment or insurance coverage for you, okay? Why is this very important? Because you, we as a financial advisor, we are licensed and we are responsible when it comes to our recommendation. Now, you as a client, okay, okay, you deserve to have the best, okay, financial advice. And with this tool, we can double check everything, okay, and it can free up our biases, okay, at the end of the day. So, assessment, diagnosis, next, planning, implementation, and evaluation. Yan ang pinakamaganda dyan. Okay, so ito na. Now, for some of you, as an employee, you're struggling right now in your finances due to your credit card. But don't cut your credit card for the meantime. Okay? Because you know what? Through credit card, you can pay for your life insurance coverage it, through an easy way. We call these things auto-charge arrangement. We're in, um, hindi mo naman nakakalimutan yung credit card mong bayaran. So, you can actually include your life insurance policies to that one. So, remember, uh, from the very start, review your current policy, you allocated the proper amount, and then you understand yung mismo enough coverage mo, and then you create a system na you can sustain the payment itself. This is very, very important because you get a life insurance, okay, and then hindi mo nabayaran, nagsayang ka ng pera. Remember this one, your life insurance is a big lump sum, okay? And this is absolutely guaranteed. But remember, remember, okay, na you need to keep your subscription to it in order for you, okay, to what? To get that particular uh, coverage. Uh, kumbaga, in a Netflix, okay, if you would like to watch all these shows, K-drama, best uh, movies in town, then you need to continue the subscription. Okay? If you're not gonna continue the subscription, then all these, um, well, benefits will be gone. Sayang! At the end of the day. Okay? So, make sure to keep paying. Next, cash flow. When we say cash flow, this will help you, okay, create a better habit dapat, okay? When, when I say cash flow, dapat yung inflow mo ng mismong money na pumapasok, dapat mas malaki kesa dun sa lumalabas. I interviewed a lot of people and it's very sad. And this is something na, uh, na nangyayari right now due to the pandemic na mas marami yung lumalabas kesa pumapasok, Okay? If you are an employee right now, you need to monitor your cash flow all the time. Baka kasi mag-overspend ka. And you don't want that as much as possible. You need to fix your cash flow in order for you to sustain your lifestyle. Okay? So, if you got plenty of loans, Bayanihan 2 is doing um, is doing a favor para sa'yo. Dahil na-stop yung mga loans at the end. Okay? But make sure to to never forget to pay for your life insurance and to communicate with your financial advisor at the end of the day. And this will create good habits for you and you will also earn a good life. Now, what, what do I mean by that? Number one, okay, you cannot eradicate bad habits. You can only replace a bad habit with a good one. But honestly, okay, it's really hard if you are not aware and if you're not evaluating yourself. If you keep on evaluating yung mismong situation mo, okay, eh, ano ba yung nangyari sa finances ko? Bakit ba? If you're gonna be looking at your credit card bills right now, ano yung mga stupid things na I bought? I'm so sorry. I, 
<laughs> technically, the, due to my stupidity, it cost me this much. Okay? So, when is going to be my next payment na? Okay? Bakit ako nag-overspend here? The, well, our emotions are, are, are one of the culprits sometimes. Okay? Because na-excite tayo and that's, that's the reason why emotional intelligence is higher than IQ. Okay? Uh, in leadership, in career, in finance, EQ plays a big role. And that's why you need to okay replace those those bad habits with a good one okay but you need to evaluate yourself all right it's almost done okay improve your circle when i say improve your circle okay if you want to grow your finances you need to find friends who are definitely have a growth mindset when when i say growth mindset they, they are into challenge they are not really into excuses. No, okay? They are into actions, planning, strategy at the end of the day. You might find these people boring at the end, but come on! These people will create a big opportunity for you. Okay? The reason why I'm currently in my position right now is because of the people that I spend my time with. Honestly. If I'll go back directly last 10 years ago, okay, sobrang my mindset was really bad. Kumbaga, I got plenty of excuses. I got plenty of, uh, of, of problems in terms of accountability. And right now, due to the, pe- due to the uh, people that I'm spending my time with, this, this was actually brought to my, to my attention. Okay, you know what, Dave? You're like this. Bakit ka ganyan? Bakit ka ganon? If you need to have a really uh, good friend. Okay, kumbaga. There's this study that uh, was actually being published. Uh, it's an anthropologic study, okay, by Robert Durnham. And he emphasized the fact that you need to have at least 150 friends na very close, kumbaga. Why 150 friends? Because when you got into 200 na, or 300 to 1,000, to 2,000 to 5,000, it's gonna be impossible to maintain the relationship. And that's the reason why I'd like you to audit your friends. Okay? Ha, huh, Dave? I'll be auditing my friends. What's in really, what, what's the relation of it directly from, uh, from life insurance? If your friends are not believing into life insurance, then most likely there's a social uh, behavior. So what do you call this one? Herd behavior. Na bakit ako? Bakit ako kukuha niyan? If your friends are not really investing, then most likely you're not also investing. It's gonna be really hard to get out from that circle. Okay, so you need to fix your your mindset in terms of getting more challenges bringing more opportunities and i can i can definitely tell you na you improve your seller circle i can tell you you will improve your network at the end of the day okay and here's it uh here's actually the thing uh i'd like to okay i'd like to challenge you okay for all of you guys right now if you do have already a life insurance then might as well okay start your mutual fund already okay uh, for those people who are looking for a really good investment a starting point mutual fund is actually the best next if you would like to learn more about money management you go ahead and grab a copy of my uh, book how to save money create more income and live a happier life it's already available on amazon and why i quit my job or corporate job to be a financial advisor grab also a copy in amazon so if you learn so much about these things please okay uh let me know uh give a a big shout out directly in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you out all right so that's it for me see you again on the next episode